There is no such thing as natural selection, you are mopped. There's no such thing as evolution. There's no evidence ever for evolution. There never will be because it doesn't exist. <laughs> You serious? What's up everybody? I am back with something a little bit different today. I do have another interview coming out next week. It is with Isaac Arthur, this guy right here. But today we're going to respond to Flatzoid and some of the things he said in his recent live stream. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. As I said, I'm a new channel and really do appreciate every new subscriber. Alternatively, if you think I should stick to interviews or just quit YouTube altogether because I suck, let me know in the comments below. If you don't know, Flatoid recently reacted to my conversation with Creaky Blinder. The dishonesty of Flat Earth featuring Creaky Blinder. Gonna be interesting. Since then, I've popped into a few of his live streams to say hello in the chat. In addition to being a Flat Earther, Flatoid is also a evolution denier. As part of that, he also, of course, doesn't believe natural selection is a thing. There is no such thing as natural selection, you are mopped. Natural selection's not a thing. <laughs> in his mind everything is just adaptation yeah mutation is not evolution again it's adaptation mutation is adaptation you're mopped i really don't want any of this to come off as condescending there's absolutely nothing wrong i don't blame anyone if they're unfamiliar with evolution or natural selection or any of these things it doesn't make them dumb or ignorant it just means they haven't studied it flat so clearly has no idea what natural selection is natural selection is based on hijacking mutations and adaptation that's what na natural selection is. It's evolution's uh, hijacking, you could say, of what really happens. That's what it is. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, so, no. What is natural selection, guys? Define it for us on an evolutional standpoint, please. The easiest way to understand natural selection is by thinking of it as survival of the fittest. Basically, the weakest of each species is less likely to make it to adulthood, and therefore less likely to reproduce. Another major misconception is that evolution happens during one's lifetime, as if a person themselves can evolve. I mean, I can go and live in the water, I'm not going to grow gills. It doesn't matter how long I'm going to stay in the water, I'll never ever grow a gill. I'm going to adapt to the environment because I'm going to live in the water, yeah. but I'm not going to evolve. There's not going to be any evolution happening. I'm just adapting to my environment. This is actually correct. What? You will not grow gills and you will not evolve. Humans and organisms don't evolve. Populations evolve over time. Also, Flatsoid seems to think that Eskimos should have evolved some kind of fur. And since they haven't, evolution's not a thing. You're mopped. Let's look at, for instance, the Eskimos. They've yeah. been living for centuries in the snow. Why have they not grown fur yet? Why don't we have Yeti-like Eskimos yet, guys? The thing is, the exact opposite is what you would expect. Our ancestors were covered in hair, but we all lost that hair because it is no longer needed. As soon as we started creating fire, living in caves, living in doors or in igloos, wearing animal skins for warmth, fur was no longer required to ensure their survival. Something else I want to address is this common misconception. If we evolved from monkeys, how come there are still monkeys? Why didn't they evolve? Nobody says we evolved from monkeys. In actuality, we have a common ancestor with monkeys, as well as chimps, gorillas, and all other kind of primates. In conclusion, I believe Flatsoid is one of the honest flat earthers, so I'm curious to see if he's willing to acknowledge that natural selection, as I described it, makes sense and is a thing. Survival is a competition. The weak and less adapted portion of the population will struggle to survive and reproduce compared to the others. That's natural selection in a nutshell. Lastly, Flatsoid was wondering if I'd be willing to talk to him. Play the clip. Maybe he will talk sometime. How's that? Would you be interested to chat to Flatsoid sometime? I think that'll be interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm actually interested in interviewing him to find out why he's so skeptical of mainstream science and what it would take to change his mind about the shape of the earth and other things. So maybe we'll make it happen. In any case, thanks and I'll see you next time. Peace.